All right, we are here with new Rockford Ice Hogs signee, Ryan Gagne. Ryan, you signed your first pro contract with the Ice Hogs just the other week. What did it feel like to sign on the dotted line? Uh, you know, it, it was a it was a great feeling to be honest. You know, I was I was very proud of myself. Um, just after the uh, after the season, you know, throughout throughout the year, I had a, a goal in mind, and it was to to sign somewhere, sign some sort of contract. And um, I'm very happy and grateful that I was able to do that here with Rockford. Well, your OHL season wrapped up just a few weeks ago. So what have you been doing here uh, in the summer months? What have you been doing this off season? Yeah, so I, I got home maybe close to a month ago. So I, I took two, two and a half weeks of just, just rest and kind of relax and um, just kind of get my mind away from, from the season and just everything. And then um, just a couple of weeks ago, I started to gear, gear it back up a little bit. Just getting back in the gym, starting to skate again. Um, obviously not as heavy as I would come July or so, but just getting there, keeping the feel ready, and um, just enjoying my time at home. Uh, no doubt you need some much-deserved time away from the rink to kind of recover after a long OHL season uh, with the Oshawa Generals. But this is going to be your first off season, kind of heading into a pro campaign. So have you thought at all about what that preparation is going to look like for the pro season? Yeah, um, obviously preparation and the off season is is what really counts in a, uh, heading into a player's um heading into any player season. So I was, uh, I was able to chat with a few friends of mine that, um, that do play in, in the AHL and that have been around pro a little bit and uh, just got a little bit of insight on, on what to expect and um, how to prepare the best. And um, it may be a cliche, cliche thing to say, but it's always, um, you just want to get bigger, faster, stronger. And those are some keys that I'm, I'm working on this uh, off season for sure. Well, you mentioned a couple of your, your buddies that you were texting who are some of the guys maybe at the AHL or the NHL level that uh, that you kind of look up to that maybe you style your game app to or that you grow up watching? Yeah, well, when it comes to guys that I that I talk to personally are just guys I've grown up with, some of my best friends. Um, I want to Tyler Tulio, he's in Bakersfield. Um, and then a couple of my other uh, close friends like Matthew Maggio, he just um, recently signed with the Islanders. He uh, had a little stint in Bridgeport here down the season. So there's just a few guys that um, that I've known my whole life that are kind of tra uh, tracking down the same path as me. And it's all obviously really good to have them. And just because they've lived it and I'm going to be hopefully. So it's good to to hear some words from them. And then what are you uh, most excited about, about, uh, about turn pro? Yeah. Um, to be honest, I just, I'm just very excited to continue playing hockey um, pro or not. Uh, I'm very grateful that it is pro, but you know, I'm just a very big hockey fan, obviously, and uh, this is what I love to do. So it's it's very nice that I get to do this um, at the next level. At what point, was it this year or maybe in years past, at what point were you kind of getting the inkling that you were going to have a pro career and this was going to be a possibility for you past junior? Mm -hmm. um, throughout my, my junior career, even from when I was 16 to just uh, my overage season, um, I always knew what I was capable of um, out there on the ice, and um, I was grateful to have a lot of good coaches and and people around me that that supported me in many ways. Um, and they would always just instill in the back of my mind that that I'm here for a reason, and I and I I can I can really do this. So um, I think my game is just um, a, a game that can translate to the pro level. I hope um, just being a 200 foot player. So. Um, just throughout my junior career, having a lot of people behind me uh, is what really helped me with this. Well, you mentioned being a 200-foot player. You were recognized as one of the top defensive forwards, one of the top, uh, the, one of the hardest workers in the OHL, one of the best penalty killers by the coaches in that end-of-season coaches poll in the OHL. What was it like to kind of receive those accolades? Was it validating for this last season? Uh, yeah, those those are obviously some things that um, – that uh that felt really nice to to achieve um but with me i'm not i'm not the biggest on on accolades and all that i just like to to do my thing and go play but um obviously you cannot complain when you get recognized for a few of those and um i'm happy i did well we can tell from from that answer you're a team guy let's talk about the team a little bit uh this last year in the ohl with oshawa what was that season like for you you were leading the way in scoring wore one of the a's on your chest felt like you were in a leadership role what was it like yeah, you know, so this was my – I've been an Oshawa, uh, an Oshawa general since I was 16. So um, without the COVID year, I've been a part of that genera uh, organization for five years. So um, we had a very young team this year and uh, a lot of new guys. I think the second half of the year, I might have been the only 
the only player that was still there from the previous two years or something. So we had so, so we had a pretty young team, a lot of new faces. So um, I just wanted to make sure all those guys uh, felt very welcome from from the beginning and um, were com comfortable uh, enough to just play their their game and uh, and trust what they have. And how much of that is you being present at both ends of the ice there? Is that part of that leadership that you took on and, and being that 200 foot player, is that something that's always been a part of your game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to, I like to lead by example also. So I just hope that the the younger guys throughout the season saw some of the, some of the ways I played and some of the habits, um, the good habits and picked up on those. Um, hopefully that can help them uh, all the way down their, their careers as well. I know this off season is a, a little bit longer than you would have liked. Uh, you guys got bounced in that first round of the playoffs this this year, but you did score an overtime winner in one of those one of those playoff games. Is that your favorite uh, goal that you've scored uh, as a general? Yeah, I, I think it has to be. That was that was an amazing one. That felt really good. Is it hard to to move on from an organization that you've been with for for so long, especially through some transformative years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it wasn't easy. Um, it hadn't kicked in for a little bit after the season, probably maybe a couple of weeks after I got home is when I really started to realize that uh, my time in Oshawa was done. But um, I have nothing, nothing but good, good things to say about that organization and everyone involved in it. I had a great four or five years with that team. And, um, you know, they're a big part of where I am today. You mentioned the COVID year a little bit. Obviously, there was no OHL during that campaign. What were you doing during that season? And did that kind of help your development in a way to, to maybe work on some other parts of your game? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So obviously we got, um, we got that whole year wiped and um, that was, that was a tough one just because um, that season it was either between Oshawa or the Sioux for the Mem Cup uh, to host the Memorial Cup. So I think we, we would have had um, a pretty good chance of getting it. So it was tough to just forego that season, but um, all throughout COVID, um, I didn't end up playing anywhere else. I, I stayed home throughout COVID. Um, and to be honest, I was just, I was just training. I was, I was working out. I was skating. Obviously with that much time on your hands, you had to do some work on the side past the time, but, um, it was, it was a lot of training and, and skating and just working on things that, that I, I really think that I needed to improve on. And, and I think those, uh, I think that time benefit benefited me. Well, clearly it worked because there have been large jumps, especially in offensive production, but large jumps in your game from season to season mm -hmm. in the OHL now to the point where last year you were over a point a game and leading your team in scoring. What do you attribute that progression to? And how much did that did that COVID year help that progression? Yeah. Um, first, I think with the COVID year, I think um, it was it could have been a good thing or a bad thing for many players. I feel that um, during that time, um, players that weren't, weren't moving away to play anywhere else had to stay very motivated and, and find, find the true reason they love the game to stay in the gym for a year plus keep going to skates every week. So, um, I think I, I, I took that time and, um, really just stayed motivated and, and worked on myself and my game. And then, um, and yeah. Well, that's awesome. Uh, Ryan, tell us a little bit about uh, about yourself away from the ice. Now, what are, are you are you fishing at all in the summertime? You, you hitting the pool, hitting the golf course? Uh, what, what kind of stuff are, are you up to when you're not uh, working on your craft? Uh, yeah, throughout throughout the summer, um, when it when it's not hockey related and and training related, you know, I like to spend a lot of time with with my friends around home, just because you know, for a full season, a lot of us are are, are away playing hockey places, summer in school, so it's always good to to enjoy that time with them. And then um, I'm a pretty big golfer. So I spend a lot of time on the golf course. Okay. All right. We got a plenty of great courses here in Rockford. What's uh, what's your handicap? Uh, right now I'm a four. Okay. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll fit right in. I think we got a couple sticks on, on the team. Yeah, I hope so. back. <laughs> well, Ryan, this has been great. Thanks again for, uh, for chatting with us here today. We're excited to have you uh, here in the state line. Yeah, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm very excited to get going.